Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. I'm Brian Natto. Another beautiful day here in Hollandale Beach on a nine-race Thursday card. Marks the return, the seasonal debut of grade one winner Kamari in race three. Let's turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello for the course and the weather conditions. Racing at Goldstream. Smooth and level beginning. Soon after the start, Cats a Dream and Destinique went hunting an advantage up on their outside. Kate's Kingdom into the top light. Four wide is Act Like Artie. Panati is saving ground down toward the inside, racing ahead of On a Tour, and Lido Key is last. Very reasonable early pace here, established by Junior Alvarado and Cats a Dream. They're on top by almost the length over on a tour, who's a headstrong second, moving up on the inside in Destiny. Wide on the course, but progressing is Act Like Artie. On hold behind them in Kate's Kingdom. Then Panati, second last here, Lido Key, and on a tour at the back. They bend into the backstretch now with Cats a Dream nursing a neck advantage. Up on the outside, Act Like Artie is there second. Kate's Kingdom is a tugging third. Destinique is along the rail. Then back to Panati racing together with Lido Key. And Anator is at the back of the field. Four and a half furlongs remain here, and it's been a very reasonable early pace. Put up by Cats a Dream, who still leads by a neck. On the outside, that's Act Like Artie in second. Kate's Kingdom is a three wide third. Destinique patiently handled by Edwin Gonzalez, fourth and only a length and a half off the leader. Then Lido Lido Key ahead of Panati and on a tour. Around the far turn they go, taking over the advantage now. Act like Artie by an neck. Cats a Dream fights back second. Castellano three wide and on the go with Kate's Kingdom third. Destinique looks to find a way out. Lido Key is underway. Panati's off heels and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Kate's Kingdom sweeping up to take the lead now and moving away by two. Cats a Dream is back to second. A late run from Lido Key out in the center. Eighth of a mile to go and the leader is Kate's Kingdom by two and a half. Lido Key rallies and up into second is she, but she can't reach Kate's Kate's Kingdom, who's clear to the finish. Kate's Kingdom and Javier Castellano to win it by two and a half. Second, Lido Key. Third was Destinique. Fourth was Panati in 141 and four. the center big daddy dave fires to a clear lead over an outside running military drill punks into the top flight ghost liners along the rail trini summer is second last and the late running katie's cowboy is last of all behind a clear big daddy dave big daddy dave leads with ghost liners securing the two path and he's on to challenge now three wide and punks from third a length and a half better than military drill trini summer is second last and trying to uncoil from the back is katie's cowboy as they run to the top of the stretch ghost liner on the outside big daddy Daddy Dave on the inside, their heads apart. Punks is third, two and a half lengths behind me in battle duo, three better than Trini Summer, and they're at the top of the stretch. On the outside, Ghost Liner toward the rail, Big Daddy Dave. They continue to battle, two and a half clear of Punks, then Trini Summer, late run from Katie's Cowboy, 16th of a mile to go. Big Daddy Dave, he's digging in. Katie's Cowboy really flying down the center. Big Daddy Dave close to home. Katie's Cowboy running out of time. It's Big Daddy Dave. Big Daddy Dave saved by the wire over Katie's Cowboy, who motored home for second in 58 and 4.
and they're off. Smooth beginning for this big favorite, Kamari. She's in no hurry for the lead. Montpetitu strutting forward. Splash Cash on the outside. Union Maiden along the rail. Joelle takes this big favorite in hand, Kamari. She lands second last, but she's only a length and a half off the lead. The early trailer is the comebacker, Liberty MD. Down the back stretch they go. Out in the center, Splash Cash works to a narrow advantage. Out the rail, Union Maiden is there with Montpetitu, second and third. Kamari guided to the clear to race on from fourth. She's still under stout restraint, and she's two and a half clear of Liberty MD. Around the far turn they go. Splash Cash has the lead. Kamari bidding up quickly now while still on a hold. Back to third, Montpetitu from the back. Here's Leperu on Liberty MD. Circling horses and trying to catch Kamari off guard as they run to the top of the stretch. Kamari has the lead. Liberty MD within a neck. Two and a half to Montpetitu. The dropping back Splash Cash. And there's a quarter of a mile remaining here. Kamari on the inside still holds a very confident neck advantage. But Liberty MD will not go away. Half mile, 45 and three. Joel Rosario sitting chilly on Kamari and she's giving him what he needs. Kamari now clear by three by four. Liberty MD tried, but tried is only going to get her second money today as Kamari wins impressively. Second was Liberty MD closer for third. Either Montpetitu or Union made it. 116 flat. They're off. Especially begins well, so does Royal War. Mayor Remo from up between them, moving throughout the rail. Special Meister not far away. They're followed by Superposition and Small Reason. And the early trailer is Skywalking. In the charge around the first turn, Mayor Remo gets clear for Mario Fuentes to lead by two. Second is Royal War, especially is on his outside third. These top three have three on a well-rated superposition. Fourth in the early stages and well-spotted by Jose Ortiz. Second last is Special Meister with small reason just ahead of him. The early trailer is Sky Walking. 24 seconds for the opening quarter as they race down the backstretch. Mayor Remo has the lead by a length. Royal War is second, especially is third. Two and a half to Superposition, who's getting a good run of it fourth behind the speed, followed fifth by Small Reason, then Special Meister and Skywalking. They go four and a half furlongs from the finish, and the leader is still Mayor Remo by a length and a quarter. Royal War is second, especially remains in third, and Superposition is into the bit while racing in fourth. Small Reason and Special Meister are next, and Skywalking is last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn through a 48-2 opening half mile. Mayor Remo still has the lead. Royal War is second, especially on the outside third. Superposition weighted with by fourth and then small reason on his outside. Out the back sky walking in Special Meister. They run to the top of the stretch. They haven't got Mayor Remo yet. Mayor Remo to the top of the stretch has the lead. To the attack is especially. Dropping back a touch is Royal War trying to wind it up for the back. Small reason wide on the course and sky walking. Superposition between. A Eighth of a mile to go. With the advantage, it's Mayor Remo. Closing ground is especially down the center and Skywalking alongside Superposition. In deep stretch, especially surges forward. Here's Skywalking. Photo finish that goes to especially. Especially won it. I'm pretty sure Mayor Remo is second and pretty sure Skywalking is third. 146 and one. And they're off. Fusion Jazz was about two lengths slow to get going. Isabella's Dream being sent forward for the lead with Tour of Duty moving to him on the outside. Jerry's turn comes away between horses and on the outside it's Pulsar. Saving ground is Moon Quest to race about three lengths off the embattled pace setters. A gap of another two to free shipping then just play it loud. Outside of him goes Killard Kelly, two better than Royal Harry and the early trailer is Fusion Jazz. 
They make their way to the backstretch now. Isabella's dream and Julian Leparu first off past the quarter in 23 and 4. Tour of Duty is second at the rail, third Moon Quest, followed fourth by Jerry's turn, two in front of Pulsar, another two to free shipping, then just play it loud. Fusion Jazz improves inside of Killar Kelly, and Royal Harry is last. Less than half a mile from the finish, Isabella's Dream has been in front from the outset, maintains a two-length lead onto the four-turn run. From Tour of Duty in second, Jerry's turn patiently handled by Rafael Hernandez, third, and on the go now. At the rail, Moon Quest is there, fourth, followed fifth by Pulsar. The rest will have to giddy up, led by Kalar Kelly and Fusion Jazz, as Tour of Duty just ran to the front. Tour of Duty and jockey Jose Ortiz looking around for competition. He doesn't see much right now as they straighten for home. Tour of Duty asks to finish it up. He's an eighth of a mile from home, and he's long gone out here. Jerry's turn tries to hold on to second with Pulsar charging into third. Three to five, and odds on. It's Tour of Duty. Easily. Tour of Duty one by five in the end. Jerry's turn with second. Pulsar third. Up fourth. Free shipping. 129 and one. Beginning for Brass Town and Luis Saez wasting no time on putting him right where he wants to be, which is on the lead early from Joe DiBaggio, who's going to have to angle off his flank and race on from second. Out in the center, Acor won't be far away, and Hero Tiger is into the top flight. Back to fifth goes Luxero. The two at the back stay home, and Meade out of the chute onto the main track. Brass Town gets what he wants, a clear lead. From the outside, Acor is second. Joe DiBaggio runs into a pocket third. Franklin Caius has Hero Tiger racing from fourth, two better than Luxero. Then Meade, and the trailers stay home. He's way out in the center. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter time. It's Brass Town the target. Brass Town stretches his lead to two and a half. Acor second. Joe DiBaggio third. Hero Tiger between horses is there fourth. Up to the outside, Luxero is now racing in fifth, but he's being asked to quicken already. Down at the rail, Meade, and stay home as last. 46 and 1 for the opening half mile. Caius knows he's got to go get Brass Town if he wants to win it. So he's on the move with Hero Tiger. And these two, no strangers to one another. They're at the 5 16th, a half a length apart. Joe DiBaggio rallies from third up the inside. Meade takes fourth. That's all for Acor. There's a quarter of a mile remaining. Brass Town in front off the corner. Three quarters, 110 and 1. Hero Tiger tries to cling to him. Three back to Joe DiBaggio with an eighth of a mile to go. It's crunch time for Brass Town. Here comes Hero Tiger on the outside. Outside. Hero Tiger tries to get Brass Town, but Brass Town is very game. Brass Town is still in front. Hero Tiger's not getting by. Brass Town digs in and hangs on. Second was Hero Tiger. Third was Joe DiBaggio. Fourth is Luxero ahead of Acor in 135 and 2.
and they're off. Level beginning. Soon after the start, it was Loyal Louie who went hunting an advantage. Here's Famous Gent moving between horses. Gaffleone has to have a smile on his face as he's got Famous Gent in front while not asking for much. At the rail, Putin on line from between horses and Loyal Louie. Lucky has a seven is in that top flight of runners. Up to the outside goes Emma Crack and splitting horses and Money. Then back it's to uh, B by the Sea, racing ahead of B and Fun. And out the back is No Commission. Around the far turn they go. The opening quarter was cozy, 23 and 1. Everything going the way of Famous Gent to this point. Now he tries to shake free. Lucky has a 7 is there, second from the outside. B by the sea, circling horses and on the move. White blinkers five lengths behind with Famous Gent off the turn in front. It's Famous Gent with a two and a half length head start on B by the sea. Loyal Louie up the inside. The three favorites to settle the score, an eighth of a mile remains. Famous Gent holding sway a length and a quarter. B by the sea tries to pick him up then loyal louis but famous jet's a winner famous jet will win it be by the sea second third was loyal louis fourth was no commission in 104 and three Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Kiss comes out firing, and she'll make a very easy lead into the run to the first turn from my favorite daughter who moves up from the out high draw to challenge for control. Easy come, easy go is away racing in third. Nostalgic is next, and the two at the back, Princess of the North, and three wide, Freedom Rose. Around the first turn, Liam's Kiss taking in hand here. They're going to let my favorite daughter kick on. My favorite daughter now by two over Liam's Kiss, who angles to the outside of the leader while snugly in hand. That's good news for Nostalgic, who moves through th third to about two and a half lengths off the pace setter. Back to fourth, easy come, easy go. Then Freedom Rose and Princess of the North. Quarter time, 23 and 2 as they race down the backstretch. Aggressively handled, Sean Bridgemahan and my favorite daughter make the pace. They lead by a length. Latched on to her second is Liam's Kiss. Patiently at the rail is Nostalgic from third. Out wide on the course, an easy come, easy go. Then back to Princess of the North, and the trailer is Freedom Rose. Half mile was 47 and 4. The opening half mile went to my favorite daughter. She heads into the far turn on top, but Gaffleone and Liam's Kiss are still right alongside in second. In the waiting room, third is Nostalgic. Back to fourth goes Easy Come, Easy Go. Held up at the back is Princess of the North, and Freedom Rose is the trailer. My favorite daughter has been overhauled by Liam's Kiss, who takes the lead. Nostalgic needs room and needs it now, and here she comes. Nostalgic's in the clear for Jose Ortiz, and on the attack as they pass the quarter mile mark. Liam's Kiss has the lead, bracing for an on-running nostalgic. Three quarters, 13 flat. Liam's Kiss green off the corner. That pretty much sealed her fate as Nostalgic is now powered past. Nostalgic off a patient trip. She'll win and win by as much as she wants, clearing off in the end. Here's Nostalgic. She's in front by six in the end. Liam's Kiss second. Easy come, easy go third. My favorite daughter was fourth, 144 and three.
They're off. Swunatra comes out firing from the rail with Taurus Star moving to take her on, splitting them, and Tiz Met not far away, looking to angle over a Z first in between horses and only time, only two and a half lengths behind, then Jamie's Warrior. Wide on the course, too sweet to be sour, saving ground along the rail and raw honey. Then Gurley the Butcher on hold while well settled as Ice Love, the early trailer is pretty flattering. And they run around the first turn. It's Taurus Star on the outside. Tiz met toward the rail. Their heads apart. Swinatra is hold on hold while third. Keen to go fourth and Z first. At the rail, that's Jamie's Warrior racing from fifth. Three wide and two sweet to be sour between them and only time. Well settled as Raw Honey about six lengths off the go. Then back to the gray girly, the Butcher. She's wide on the course. Ice Love is in no hurry at this stage. And the trailer is pretty flattering as they make their way through the half mile in 49 seconds flat. With the advantage, Julian Leparu and Tismet by a neck. Three wide Z first from between horses, Taurus Star. Gaffleone still has his feet in the dashboard on Swinatra, who's racing from fourth. Up to the outside, only time gets underway. Looking for room, Gurley the Butcher trying to split horses in raw honey. Down at the rail, that's Jamie's Warrior also hunting racing room. And somebody needs to get through here as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, 113 and four over the top. Only time, the one who got the run and now takes the lead from between horses. Z first fights back second. Gurley the Butcher down the stand side. Final 16th of a mile. It's now only time who takes the lead and kicks on. Only time five to two and home a winner. Gurley the Butcher's up for second. Z first was third. Then Swinatra and Raw Honey to complete your high five in 137 and four. And that puts a wrap on the nine race Thursday card. We're back on Friday, 10 races. First post, 1.05 p.m. as we draw in on the huge Saturday 13 race bonanza headlined by the grade two Fountain Youth.